Fort Worth police say they are making progress fighting a growing violent crime problem throughout the city. Fox 4's Davidson Tender joins us with newly released data on the crackdown made through the initiative called Fort Worth Safe. David. Yeah, Blake, when talking about issues of violent crime, we know there's never a single easy solution, but Fort Worth Police Department says it's at least making a dent in its violent crime problem that it's been experiencing over the past few years. At the same time, I'm speaking with one local organization that says it's taking its own approach to make a dent. Violent crime is rising in Fort Worth. I think for some people, man, they feel like they didn't have any other choice. It's just to think about survival. Pastor Rodney McIntosh is a former gang member from Fort Worth who served time in prison before turning his life around. So for me, I always tell people this is not a job, it's more of a calling. Rodney now runs a nonprofit, VIP Fort Worth. It stands for Violence Interruption Prevention. They interact with gang members and young people who might get caught up in violent crime while offering assistance toward a better path. Our whole focus, man, is to keep the peace. Fort Worth PD says since 2019, violent crime has increased by more than 27 percent. We have dedicated personnel that are working every day in high crime areas trying to target the violent offenders that are hurting the communities. The department is now taking an aggressive approach to combat violent crime, targeting high crime areas and ones believed to be linked to violent crime. And so we have dedicated tactical intelligence teams that are a combination of undercover and tactical officers that can address crime in real time and they're having excellent results. The department is releasing new data from April since it launched Fort Worth Safe. Right now, we've been able to put 394 new charges against people that are committing violent crimes in our neighborhood. We've been able to serve 476 warrants. We have seized 150 guns. These are guns that are being used in the commission of offenses, and we're being able to take those off the street. And we've also been able to recover 35 stolen vehicles. The department did not provide data when asked for comparisons to past months, but says this is certainly an increase. We felt that it was very important for Fort Worth to develop a strategy to combat it here at home. As for Pastor McIntosh, our job is not to arrest young men, it's to arrest the hearts of young men so that we can change their lives. He says while his group's approach is separate and different from the department's, they share a similar goal, reducing crime and keeping people safe. Man, I'm a realist. Like some people may be upset, but where we are as a community, man, we definitely have to do something. The department says it has a, quote, ambitious goal of reducing violent crime by 10% come next spring.